Danta, watching out for some other stocks as well. But uh, talking about the fourth quarter updates itself, we do have CSP Bank's fourth quarter business update, which came in a 47% year on your loan growth coming in there. Gold business, which of course has been the star of the show for the company. Deposits grew by about 21%. Pralay Mundal, who's the MD and CEO of CSP Bank, joins in to discuss the outlook for the business going ahead. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mondal, for joining in. And once again, 40% plus sort of growth coming in from uh, your gold business. Now it stands at around 46.5% of your overall loan book. Um, just wanted to understand, where does this go from here as well? I mean, you have a stated target of this reducing to 20% of your book by 2030. What kind of growth can we expect in the next year in your gold loan portfolio and your non-gold portfolio? Good morning, Mangalam, and uh, good morning, Nigel, and your viewers. Uh, yes, we in the long run, which is as far as sustainable scale 2030 vision, uh, we would like to have gold loan as a part of a mix around 20%. But that does not mean that gold loan business growth will come down. That will continue to grow. And what will happen is we'll expand the balance sheet significantly, including other products and services. And based on that, the mix of the gold loan will come down by 2020. But 2020 is a long way. Uh, 2030 is a long way ahead of us. Right now, I think we had a reasonable growth of 47% in the growth. But the good part in this quarter, some of the other businesses like SME and wholesale, as well as mm -hmm. some of the retail businesses started picking up. And hence, we would like to see that we become an all-round, all-product services kind of a bank and just not gold business. But gold loan is right. a start for us, rightly said, yes. Got it. Uh, hi, Mr. Mondal. Uh, good morning and thanks so much for joining in. Uh, you know, Mr. Mondal, I want to focus on your gold loan business first. What is contributing to this growth? Is it new branches or is it the existing branches which are getting more business? That's on the gold loan part of the business. And on the non-gold part of business, you know, it's very encouraging because on a sequential basis, the growth is very, very strong. Is it because of SME and the other, uh, uh, you know, verticals that are firing now for the non-gold part of the business? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, thanks, Nigel. So let me uh, cover the second part first, which is non-gold business. Uh, it's early days actually for us because the base is small, whether it is SME or retail and wholesale is uh, also okay kind of a base. But we are really putting a lot of effort on that side. But some of those numbers will not speak for itself in the next 12 to 18 months and you will see this kind of a growth. But FY25 onwards, you will see a rapid growth on that because we are putting a lot of technology processes, products, leadership team, distribution. And as you know that we are planning a pan-India uh, kind of a presence in our branch network. We added 100, uh, three, uh, more than 100 branches this quarter. So we are now around 703 branches. So given all that, the franchise growth, you will see the real growth happening in retail and SME in the next two to three years, and then it will sustain and contribute to that. Coming Could you to quantify the, that? Hmm. Yeah, coming you, to the, you're talking about the gold business. business. Yes. Coming to your first question, which is the gold business, uh, two, three things are happening. As you know, even yesterday, uh, the, globally, the gold prices has touched hmm. uh, all-time high. And uh, because of the dollar, dollar index and uh, the, even the four-year, uh, 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 two-year uh, bond yields in U.S. has come down below 4%. So based on all this, I think the gold prices have crossed 2,000 uh, USD. Uh, given that, I think automatically there is a risk which is coming down on the gold loan business because our LTV is constantly coming down. So that is one part. The second part is we add a lot of new customers every quarter. That's okay. to some extent because of the additional 15% branches we are adding. But our existing branches are doing a lot better in terms of getting new customers. We have put a separate acquisition team out there. And hence, overall, obviously, it's our focus because from the gold loan, the revenue we generate, we're investing into technology and other products, which will sustain the growth in other businesses as well. Right. So let's talk about a couple of numbers then. Uh, you know, you spoke about you having 700 branches. The last three years, you've added 100 branches each. You want uh, to grow your branch network, uh, you know, in a much stronger way, go Pran India. So what is your branch network expansion plan for the next four, five years? Is it going to be 100 every year or will that growth pace ramp up? That's point number one. Secondly, you said the growth in your SME and other businesses' non-gold portfolio will be much higher starting from FY25. What kind of numbers can we expect out there? And thirdly, what exactly does your uh, LTV stand at right now? It is reducing because of higher gold prices? Yes. So uh, first question first, which is um, what do we do on the branch expansion? We have uh, planned around 15 to 20% of our 
branch base every year. So right now, 15 to 20 percent is around 100 branches, and at the base grows. Uh, we'll continue to grow number of branches uh, because it's an investment. But we want to make that investment because as we grow into other locations, whether it is uh, north, west, rest of south, etc., uh, the businesses will just not be gold. We are putting a lot of products and services, and in those areas, we need to other have other businesses as well. Until you have a 1500 branch network, you really cannot dream what we're dreaming uh, in 2030. So given that perspective, our branch network growth will continue to uh, happen over the next seven years. Uh, your uh, second question was on um, uh, what we do on the SME and the other businesses. Uh, yes, we will continue to uh, uh, grow there. What will happen is that as the, this is one of the standard question I get is, how do you sustain this growth over the next seven years? Mm. What we are doing as 2030 is, and the way we sustain is each of the life cycle, once it's plateau, something else will start uh, filling in that gap. And that's where the SME, retail, all this will keep coming up. Gold will sustain the same level and will continue to grow there. So that's the way uh, we plan to do it. Uh, what was the third question, Mangalam? The LTV. LTV. The LTV. LTV, yeah. That's an easy one. I think LTV is uh, well below 75% right now. RBI norm is 75%. And 75% is a mix of both agri and uh, non-agri businesses. And agri businesses, you have LTV higher as per regulation. So we are very happy that LTV is coming down significantly. Risk is coming down. And we are not using this as an opportunity to increase the gold on business because we are taking this as an opportunity to manage the risk because who knows tomorrow gold loan prices mm -hmm. can come down again. We'll have a challenge there. So we are not taking that route. We are taking that customer acquisition route to hold the uh, Grow the global on business. Yes. All right. Uh, so, Mr. Mondal, uh, if I got that correct, by 2030, your target is to get to 1500 branches, right? Uh, we. Or what I said is that 1500 branches is where we will stop and have a review. That yeah, do we no, need I'm, more? I, you know, Mr. Mondal, I'm just doing it mathematically. Uh, next seven years, you know, you add close to around 700. You're already close to 750 odd. So going by that math and, you know, the 15% growth, 1,500 should be doable, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, by ballpark, yeah ballpark, that's yeah. the number we are looking at. Okay, all right. You know, quick counter question out here. Yeah? How long does it take for the branch to break even? And I ask you this because you're adding branches at a much faster clip in comparison to the banking system on the whole. So the rough timeline that it takes to break even? Yes and no. I'll tell you what, not necessarily branches which are breaking even later. And I'm mm -hmm. talking based on previous experiences mm. in some of the banks is, is mm. necessarily a bad story because mm. uh, in what this is gold loan, you have better yields, you have lesser risk, your operational yeah. costs are slightly higher, but you turn around is much faster. So to that extent, our lot of our branches which do a lot of gold loans actually breaks even in less than a year as well. But the kind of branches we are now putting with will be at some point of time, we will also focus on wealth businesses, retail assets, mm. other businesses. So there, even if branches breaks even in two years, two and a half years, it's not a bad sign because I have seen, based on my previous experiences, branch which efficiently breaks even uh, in two and a half years, in the next year, they make uh, uh, more money than they have mm. lost in the last years. And after that, it uh, continues to grow. So it's a mix, uh, not necessarily break even faster is necessarily a good story. So we will okay. have a mix of and there will be branches which will come, which will take more time to break even, and there will be full service branches. Okay, you know, uh, broadly in terms of an outlook, the earlier guidance you had given us was that NIMS will be happy and content if it's around that 5% odd mark, given the cost of funds have gone up. And also your loan book, you're looking at growing at mid 20% odd. Sticking to that? Absolutely. I think uh, uh, while, as you know, that cost of funds are going up for all the banks, deposit costs are going mm -hmm. up, in that perspective, the spread is uh, uh, getting uh, lower faster than the NIM because NIM is a lot more complex calculation. But eventually, the trend is very clear that we will move towards a 5% NIM. I'm happy with that. Maybe we'll do a little better than that in the short term. In the long term, we are okay with a 5% NIM. So that's not an issue at all. Uh, in terms of uh, most other issues, we are doing pretty well. So that's, uh, the, I mean, we're pretty happy the way most of the ratios that are going in because we are making significant investment into the bank right now. Whether it is distribution, whether it is technology, whether it is people, we are creating a completely revamped sales structure in the bank to get more customers because if you have to build a liability, ultimately we have to understand that right. uh, real sign of a good bank, long-term sustainable growth bank is who has a good liability franchise. And okay, we will not in 
to the live differential in the next few years. All right, uh, Mr. Mondal, final question before we let you go. Yes, these numbers look very, very good, but the loan growth uh, is better than the deposit growth. How do you manage the need for liquidity from here on, given that you're talking about big growth numbers? I must say that there are various ratios, uh, you know, hmm. uh, LCR, uh, 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 CD ratios and things like that. I'm following where the LCR of the private sector banks are and the CD ratio of most of the other banks are. I cannot make a forward-looking statement, but when the results come out, we'll see that we probably have done much better than some of the uh, other private sector banks, etc. So, uh, to that extent, liquidity is not an issue right now for us. Uh, and we have our funding structure. We know how to do it. So, growth will not get compromised because of liquidity or funding. And what does your market share of the gold loans stand at right now? I mean, if you compare it with the gold financiers and if you compare it with just the private bankers? I don't look at so closely. Actually, I'm so focused on building the other businesses and gold is doing pretty well for us. So we don't want to be seen just in banks. So I really don't focus on market share on gold. I would rather focus on how we are doing well on the other businesses. Gold is anyway right. doing well. Okay, gold is doing well. Wish you good luck. Uh, gold price is doing extremely well as well. Your bank, you said, is in a good place to you know double the branch network and grow much faster than the industry going forward. We wish you good luck for that uh, and uh, hope to talk to you more often as well.